how are you? Hope you're doing okay. Today is another flip through. I've been really looking forward to doing this flip through for a very long time and now's the chance for us to look for it. So today we're going to be looking through um, the February 2008 edition of Pop Teen and this is all about Tsubasa Matawaka's wedding. Yeah, I'm so excited. Honestly, this wedding was a big thing in the Gyeru community. Like, uh, I mean, maybe I should talk more about it when we actually get through to it so that this intro isn't super, super long like it normally is. But yes, today, this is what we're going to be having a flip through. Now that the intro is over, I can talk a little bit more about the wedding without being super, super overwhelming. Um, so yeah, this edition is all about Tsuba Sumazuaka and Naoki Umeda's wedding. Now, Tsuchan, um, which is the nickname that a uh, lot of her, like, um, Gyaru fans had for her, um, she was huge. Like, she was the Gyaru icon of her time. Um, so her getting married was like a big thing. Um, and in this issue, it's, it's kind of like a, well, it's going to be a very in-depth look into her wedding, um, especially because Pop Team was there at the wedding to document every single thing that went on. So we can have like a real look behind the scenes um, of this wedding. Rumour has it that she and uh, Naoki Umeda already were married before this, like they had a little secret wedding that was um, a lot smaller <laughs> than in this magazine. Um, but you'll find out more when you read um, her autobiography, which my lovely, lovely Dala has kindly translated over on her blog. So I will link her blog post to the little box below. So please check that out, especially if you are a huge fan of Tsubasa Masawaka. And even if you aren't, like it is just so insightful to read. Okay, without further ado, let's dive right in. But before that, actually, I'm going to take a sip of my tea whilst trying not to knock the camera over. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so first off, I do apologise if um, the camera cuts off a lot of the pages, but I will try and like move around so that you can see everything. But these are just ads at the moment because um, they're still showing like winter sales, even though this is, I mean, it te February is technically winter, although even though this is a February issue, it would have been released in January so yeah it's fine it's um all the winter sales um uh, so moving on oh doesn't Tsubasa look so cool like she looks so badass in this um ad for Jerry Girl I think that's what I love about Tsubasa like she can do really really cute girly looks to like really cool looks like this um I especially love her with darker hair like you usually see her in blonde hair like this um but it's really refreshing to see her um as a brunette um but yeah so this is for jerry girl let's move on so we've got some more like little ads here or perhaps you know their favorite items i'm not too sure but um We've got some lashes shown over here. Um, got some cute little socks. Um, uh, some little slippers. We've got what looks like hair curlers over here. Um, and some stuff. And then we've got like hats, eyeshadows, uh, just makeup in general, some purses. Uh, blusher, all the nice little bits and bobs. Okay, we've got some more over here. Oh, that hello. Oh, I love this print. That is so cute. It kind of reminds me of um, Aunt Rouge, which 
2008 is probably a bit early for Aunt Rouge to release pattern like this but I do have a bag that has like so what am I trying to say basically one of Aunt Rouge's like most famous patterns from back in the day is kind of like brown um what are they called argyle print um I think it's argyle but it's basically brown and pink and white and this is what it reminds me of in any case and then um got some more hello kitty items oh I love this bag don't know if you can see it but this bag is really cute over here oh wait let me show you the other page as well um we got some lovely winter accessories over on this page something about mario kart over here oh it's the, the game oh my god that's so cute i remember these <laughs> super super cute what a flashback um okay moving on so this is advertise oh so this is um what dala has translated on a blog i'm pretty sure that's super uh super oh my gosh why can't I see it? <laughs> but I also have this somewhere. But like I said, Dala has very kindly translated it over on her blog. Um, so huge, huge, huge shout out to her. She is honestly the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this just looks like a little advert for that um, so that she can promote it. I mean, that hat is iconic. I would love to have that hat. I mean, this whole look, I just love in general. Okay, so we have got an ad over on this page um, about like uh, like the winter sales sort of thing. Um, but over here, as with all Pop Team magazines, we have the gets page. Um, so the things that the models um, either have their eye on or they've bought. And look how cute they are oh they're so cute and i love the look of these bags um they have very strong agajo vibes and then we have some like you know the shopper bags we got some more purses but they also look like bags with the chain oh wait you can't even see what i'm talking about but they've got like the purses with the chain uh chain thingy oh my god what's it called handle that's the one um and then we've got some makeup over here um and then some more makeup and then yes so they usually do two of these get pages but this one seems to be more about the clothes and the others i love this like i just love how mismatched it is but then it doesn't look like a horrible mess you know what i mean like it looks really nice and then we've got this going on over here and then they've also mentioned this and whether whether or not she's like wearing that underneath that i don't know um and then got some other very cute outfits um this, oh gosh i remember um layering like shirts underneath vest tops <laughs> oh that was such a cute trend um i do love this outfit though like the really baggy trousers not baggy trousers what's the word for them now flared no boot cut no oh you know what my brain's gone but i just love this outfit now are we gonna have another gets page no we have the contents page and as you can see the wedding is the main thing <laughs> so you know what I mean, I'm going to let you just briefly look through the contents. Feel free to pause if you want. But I am going to dive right in to the wedding. Ah! <laughs> look at how perfect she is. Oh, my God. Just look at her. Oh, gosh. Man, I kind of wish I read this before i got married so that i could use this as inspiration but i just love her hair her makeup the little tiara that she's got on top of her veil oh and the lace gloves as well the bouquet is super pretty but over on here it's just like a little introduction um oh 
another reason why this issue was so important to the gal community was that not only it was um, about Subas's wedding, but this was also her graduation. Um, I mean, I can't remember what the other, like what the um, issues afterwards were like, but yeah, this is kind of like when she graduated from Pop Teen um, to focus on being uh, Naoki's wife. As you know, that that didn't actually end up very well. Um, she still continued to be a girl boss and like doing things that she wanted. But um, as of now, as of this issue, this was like a little farewell. Or I don't really know because it's really confusing when people say that they've graduated from a magazine. They, that means they're left like that's that's the last time you'll see them in that magazine but I am pretty sure that she shows up in future pop teen issues I suppose I would need to look at the other flip throughs I've done to try and remember but yeah they do use words like graduation and wedding in this issue um they also mention actually that this is coverage for the first wedding so i think that rumor is true that maybe she did have another wedding as well but yeah so it looks this was the hotel she got married in so it's a huge 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 hotel you could actually see some of the uh hold on if i move this oh nearly knocked over my tea uh, but you can actually see yui kano <laughs> like in the audience um and other like pop team models so um but yeah oh just look at them so pretty they're such a beautiful couple as well okay so these are some behind the scenes of them getting ready so they start at seven o'clock in the morning actually no that's not quite so unbelievable i'm pretty sure i started that early in the morning as well when i got married um but yeah they started super early Oh, they're, hold on, are they in the same room? Oh, maybe it isn't so much of a thing that the bride can't see the groom or whatever before the wedding. But um, here are some details of the makeup that she wore. So it's, it is quite like, actually no. I was gonna say this is quite natural, but I think this was the trend, um, like the gal makeup trend of the time where it was just like, it was starting to be less like eyeliner heavy if that makes sense um and she's got very natural long lashes but she's still unmistakably gal uh, with her light blonde hair um but it's really cool to see like what lip gloss she was using and all the blushes she i love this blusher i don't know if you can see it this can make one i've been trying to find a color similar to this but i don't know the blushes in the oh, that i get over in the west are very like red um like they've got very strong reddish tones and i want more of a this kind of tone maybe i need to mix it who knows um but anyway without further ado <laughs> the rest of the wedding day so this is where they're getting ready to do her makeup um we've also got the nails that she had on that day um oh as well as like the other people getting ready for the wedding so this looks like um like a more traditional approach um you could kind of see like this is the traditional attire that they had um I mean, my Japanese is extremely limited, so limited because I just don't know a word of Japanese. But um, I'll show you later on that uh, there was actually like two parts to this wedding. One where they wore more traditional Japanese attire and the other one where they had like the big poofy white dress, which is super cute. Also, also a little bit of a um, behind the scenes knowledge. <laughs> if you would call it that. Apparently she was pregnant at the time she got married. Like there were rumors that this was a shotgun wedding because she got pregnant. Um, but you can't tell 
like she must be in her very early stages or something but you really can't tell um anyway yeah so this is her traditional makeup um you can see Nalki Umeda getting ready as well okay moving on oh so this is coverage of what the guests wore at the wedding oh it's nice to see some Giro. oh this dress is very pretty i wonder if there was a reason why they wore black to the wedding hmm yeah you got some really really cute elegant dresses over here uh -huh. i love this one though but <laughs> What can I say? I am biased. I love pink, so of course I'm going to like that outfit. Oh, there's Yui Kano. I knew it was her in that photo with her very big hair. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Oh, there they are sitting around at the tables. Oh, Liz Lisa's staff were there as well by the looks of it. Um... Oh, you can see, like, the guests getting ready as well. Oh, that's funny. I wonder if they were getting ready. So it looks like they were getting ready at, like, the dinner tables. I don't know for sure. Don't hold me to that. Like I said, I don't know a word of Japanese. Oh, just knocking things over. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh, how cute. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Oh, you can see people getting like really emotional during the ceremony. Oh, look. Oh, they're so cute. I hope you can see. I'm trying to like angle this without knocking everything on this ta table over. But, oh. <laughs> I really wish I had like really, really blingy nails for my wedding. But at the time, I didn't really have like I never really got my nails done before like the first time I had my nails done was for my wedding so I kind of went a bit <laughs> toned down <laughs> much regret but hey ho look at this oh I just love all the details oh she looks so happy they both look so happy oh it makes me smile so much I want to see more pictures of the dress oh and my wish my wish has been granted look at that how cute is that dress? It's such a princessy dress. Oh. Oh. And then the you may kiss the bride moment. Oh. They captured everything. Oh, you can see in the background one of the photographers. Can you hold on? Wait. Yeah, there. See one of the photographers in the background? <laughs> oh, but look. Oh, it looks like they didn't do confetti. They did, like, like release some balloons instead. That's interesting. Oh, so sweet. Oh, I love this. Oh, this looks like when they're trying to catch the bouquet. <laughs> How sweet. Oh, yay. Guessing this is the wedding breakfast. Oh, look at them getting ready to cut the cake. Oh, look at all the gifts they got. Like, the cute Hello Kitty. Obviously, I noticed the cute Hello Kitty first, but look. Oh, they've also got... So, I've actually got this. I don't know. Where is it? There you go. You see the two little rabbits? I actually have that in its original packaging. <laughs> Just saying. Um, Which I haven't... I don't think I've actually shown you before. I don't think I've ever, like, taken a photo on social media or whatever. But I did post it on my blog, so maybe I'll upload, like, a picture somewhere over here. But it's, um, like, the Liz Lisa um, and Pop Teen kind of collaboration. And it's, like, a bunny rabbit of Naoki and another one of uh, Tzu Chan. And, yeah, it's adorable. Oh, look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, doing all the speeches. Oh, this is a glimpse at the food they had. They seem to be enjoying... Oh, look at these two feeding the food to each other. How cute. Oh, pretty sure that's Jun getting emotional over there. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, it seems like such an emotional day. Look how many flowers are there. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I love that they're all in their kikus <laughs> in this photo. Oh, look. Look at the pop team models getting really emotional. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then this is where they were in the more traditional, like, wedding attire. And look, she's showing off her nails. <laughs> and maybe the bump. You don't know. We can't tell, can you? I mean, I can't tell. But, um, yeah. Oh. Look so lovely. I love her makeup so much. I want to try and do her makeup. Maybe that could be like another video. Okay, so here's some more of the. Gosh, this is a long wedding. Like, I mean, this is really in depth look, isn't it? But, um, yep. Yeah, so they changed into this. Oh, she's crying. Oh. Da, 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 da. Oh, it looks like, oh, so that must be when she gave her speech and he gave his speech. But look how cute these teddy bears are. <laughs> so adorable. Oh, hold on, there's something on their feet. Uh, can't really, I can't really read it. Can you? But, um, yep. Okay. Oh, and then that was it. Oh, that was it from the wedding. But this is like their timeline though. How amazing. Oh. But yeah, so from from the top of my head, um, Zubasa used to be a reader model. So she that means like she used to be a fan of Pop Teen before she became a model. Um, and like reader models. Oh, what are they? Were, there was like a... A word for them I don't know if it was Galmo or something I just can't remember but it was like um they weren't the official models for him back then they would just be like featured like here and there but as you can see she got more and more popular and became like one of the main models so it's really really nice to see this timeline started from like 2002 all the way up until 2007 and Honestly, each and every one of these issues is iconic. Um, just as iconic as she is. But yeah, it looks like they're um, featuring like her a biography there. Um, and then they also did a little feature on him. Oh, a lot. These must be like the baby photos. <laughs> so cute. Um... And then this is her baby photos. How cute. I'm really sad because she used to have a blog. And I used to love reading her blog. But it has been taken down. Which is such a shame. Um, which is why I'm really grateful to, to Dala. For like scanning and translating um, her uh, Sue Chan's autobiography. Um, because... Honestly, it's just so insightful to like read about her life and to realize just how human she is. Um, because obviously, being such a big model and a huge icon really puts put her on a pedestal. And she was really, really open in her biography and her blog about her feelings and the struggles she went through. But, anyways, time to not time to get emotional over that. Um, so let's move on. Oh, okay. So now we've got like the individual um, interviews. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to like pause for a bit so that maybe you can like take a picture and translate or something. Um, because I don't, I don't know what it says, but it must be about the wedding and like her thoughts about it or something. She has a little bit over here. She has a little note over here um, as well. Okay, and then you've got one with Naoki as well. Oh, gosh, I really hope I've been pronouncing his name right. Can you imagine me doing this whole video and I've been saying his name wrong? <laughs> but yeah, this is his interview. 
Oh, he looks so happy. Oh, look, it's the whole, like, the big wedding photo with everyone. Oh, you could definitely tell who are the pop team models. <laughs> like, this section over here. <laughs> oh, that baby's not having a good time, are they? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, look, there's a little note here as well. Oh, it looks like um, all the guests wrote a little note for her. But, yeah, as you can see, that is the end of, like, the wedding section. Gosh, what what incredible article like even though I don't read Japanese or understand it it was just so cool to see all the behind the scenes and stuff like her getting ready and what makeup products she used and just yeah <laughs> like I said if I had read this before if only I had read this before I got married so that I could use some of it as inspiration okay so despite that being the end of of the wedding issue um there are still some more photos so this was the bunny rabbit thingy i was talking about earlier oh so cute okay Right then, what is this all about? Looks like a little promotion ad thing. Um, but these are gorgeous, aren't they? Which one's your favorite? I think mine is, ooh. I think it's gotta be in between this one and this one. Can't decide. Yeah, that does look pretty, doesn't it, that one? I mean, that one, that one is cute though, isn't it? I feel like this one has more like cute daytime vibes and then you've got very elegant nighttime vibes going on over here. Oh, it's so nice to see like a dark haired um, Giri model. Like you, right, okay, so this is how important eyebrows are. So despite the fact she has black hair, her eyebrows are still light in comparison to her hair colour so that we can focus on her eye makeup. Like that is a huge thing in gal makeup, okay? Like if you've got dark hair, you've got to lighten your brows. It's the rule. I don't make the rules. Um... Okay, looks like we're going into like the winter outfits kind of realm. On here it's just an ad so I'm not lingering too long on that.
you see both pages if I'm like this? I suppose you can see most of it, can't you? Maybe not the bottom, though. I love how cosy and cute this outfit is. Especially those shorts. Oh, actually, no. I prefer this one. This one looks cute. Over here. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Back to the wedding photo. Oh, they're all pulling silly faces. <laughs> I want this outfit. I love this outfit. This outfit that Zeus Chan's wearing is so, so cute. And to be honest, so easy to replicate with our ghetto brand. Like, if you just break it down into real simple, simple terms, she's wearing, like, a tartan kind of coat. She's got a long black top with, like, a grey skirt underneath and then she has some like black fringe boots that's all there is to it and this is the mindset you need especially if you're new to gal or if you're trying to be on a budget like you just need to take a look at your favorite outfits and break them down into really simple terms to try and figure out like how they manage to bring everything together and also just look at the accessories that they have i mean this isn't really a good example because she hasn't got a lot of accessories but like even this hat is super cute and of course the makeup and the hair is nailed down and it looks like that wasn't the only outfit that you could use to replicate this issue um i've already like flipped ahead to kind of prepare myself um but it's got loads and loads of outfits in this um so feel free to like pause the video at any point and take a photo of outfits that really um shout out to you if that's the right word i can't remember um really jump out at you i think that's the correct term but i really love this one <laughs> Oh, so pretty. Okay. I love that they compose like that when they're ice skating. Like, I can't even, like, stand up in, <laughs> in skate, let alone pose in a really cute way. I got Wii Sports. <laughs> I had a Wii Sports. I was terrible at it. I think the most I had was when we played um, tennis and I was just like this throughout the whole game. what's going on in these pages do you
gosh, how cute are those bags? Oh my god. Ah, I love it. I love these too. I love everything about this page. don't know about you but I kind of feel a bit overwhelmed <laughs> by all of the outfits that they're showing <laughs> so sorry if I'm not talking a lot it's just a lot to take in <laughs> These are cute. Oh, these are all the like, are they the lucky bags? Yes, they are. So they're advertising um, the Fukubukuro, um, also known as lucky bags. So like back then, um, they used to, Liz Lisa used to sell like suitcases and these suitcases used to be like have clothes and stuff inside it. And I really wish I knew about this or at least I knew how to get these back in the day because I would have loved one of these suitcases. I am incredibly jealous of everyone who has a Liz Lisa suitcase, especially because they stopped doing them like a few years ago. And when I say a few years ago, I mean like 10 years ago. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know. It's been forever since I've seen them do a suitcase and I would have loved this one actually I really like this one I can't stop looking at this one um but yeah it just shows like some of the stuff that they have inside each one I love how fluffy her hair is so cute Oh look, they call her Tsubasa Umeda here, not Tsubasa Mazuaka. Oh, that's so strange. <laughs> Always known her as a Tsuchan or Tsubasa Mazuaka. I mean, okay. This is where I'm gonna have to break some bad news. But uh yeah, sadly they got divorced a few years later, which is really, really sad. Um, but she had a daughter, I believe. But yeah, they did sadly split up, which was so heartbreaking because <laughs> they looked so cute together. But I don't know what she's doing now and I don't know what he's doing now. But um, I just hope that both of them are happy. Wait, is there a picture? I can't tell.
Oh, I suppose actually during this time of year it's like New Year, so they really want to wear all these pretty things. Or oh, is it for coming of age day? I can't remember where coming of age day was. Oh, I can't remember. But there definitely is a very heavy focus on um, these kind of adverts uh, in this issue. It's strange to see Coco Lulu so um like toned down like the Coco Lulu we know now is like super super baggy with loads of patches and like color and blah 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 but these are quite toned down I guess this is 2008 so maybe they got like more and more like colorful in later years but um still it's really nice to see it Like it's, it still has that kind of boyish silhouette, if you know what I mean. I have no idea what this is all about. Do, 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 do. Makeup! Yay! <laughs> da, da, da. Hmm. Gosh, this reminds me, I need to find a new um, nude eyeshadow palette. I'm not happy with the one I've got at the moment. I like this makeup as well. I want to try this one out. Pretty sure I have lashes that look like those somewhere. In fact, these look like the lashes, um, the very first pair of lashes I bought from like Poundland. <laughs> oh, back in the day. Well, there she has I got a picture to show where these lower lashes came from. Hey ho. Okay, we have a brief section on hair and when I say brief, I mean like literally one page. <laughs> More outfits, gosh, I see what I mean. This this issue is just full of outfits. Which is a very good thing if that's what you're here for. What is this? What are they advertising here? Oh, hello kitty. I don't know what this is about. Um, let's just skip ahead. Skip ahead. No idea what's going on here. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, got all the Pop team models over here. See, got da, 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 da. Wait, where's Jun? 
Maybe it wasn't Jen that I saw earlier then. Hmm. I would have thought she'd be here. Okay, interesting. Don't, I don't think you could tell in the video, but this is where the pages feel a bit different. Um, but this looks like information about each of the models. So I will do it like this so that you can, you know, do a cheeky little translate or something. Oh, my heart pangs whenever they mention blogs. So I just think of all the blogs that have been deleted or taken down or the websites that have like ceased to exist. What is going on over here? <laughs> it looks like silly photos people have submitted. Oh wait, hold on. These are the rest of the models. Okay, anyway, let's get back to this. What is going on over here? Oh my. <laughs> Oh, funny. Oh boy. <laughs> I love this one. It's just like a picture of someone's nose. Like, what? Let me just have a flip through. They're gonna be just more outfits. Okay, so there are some hair tutorials. Okay, I'll I'll hold on for a little longer because <laughs> I am getting quite tired. But um, yeah, it looks like they're doing some hairstyles or something. Gosh, I I do love Yui Kano. Like, uh, she and Su Chan were like my biggest inspirations when I first started. Oh, look at that headband. I swear, are they coming back in fashion? Because I swear I've been seeing people with really thick headbands. Maybe it's coming around again. Let's swap this. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. Gosh, I've forgotten how thick this issue is. It's gonna take us forever to read through this. Okay. 
How much more of this can I take? <laughs> Sorry, I really shouldn't be saying that in this video, but honestly... Well, let's see. Oh, okay, I don't mind looking at Pirikura. So cute, I wish we still had a... Yeah, let's see, there's Jun, right? So why wasn't she in the model section? Maybe she wasn't as well known by here? I don't know. But it's so nice to see Purukura. Okay, so what else have we got? Oops, I keep hitting the camera, it's really frustrating, I'm so sorry. Uh, but we got some more stuff, I don't know what this is about. Um, oh, it looks like pop team models and their boyfriends, maybe? Maybe. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, I'm getting so tired. Right, come on. What's what's next? Are these all gonna be like ads now? Um. Ooh, look how blingy that is. Anyway, right, come on. Da, da, da. <sighs> oh, it looks like they've taken some photos of like non-model people, <laughs> like just people from the street street snaps that's it what it's called so let's have a look at these it's nice to see like real people like non-model people and just like seeing what they wore as well because i swear like the thing about the western girl community and i'm really really sorry for saying this but i feel like <sighs> i don't i don't know how basically we don't appreciate casual outfits enough, like, and how wearable, you know, you can make some outfits, like, it doesn't always have to be OTT every day, does that make sense? But, yeah, so I, I really like seeing these ones, like, these outfits. Hold on a second, she's a model, so maybe these aren't all, like... Random people? I don't know. I don't know. Oop. Dun, 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 Nails, nails. Um, what? Uh, no, what is this? Oh, I'm guessing they've asked specific models like, "What's your favorite handbag?" and "What's in it?" Maybe like, "What's in your bag?" I don't know. Or maybe like, look at oh lord, this person's got a full-on like video camera. I used to always want one of these. Oh, look at the iPods. Oh, gosh. Da, da, da. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. And even more. <laughs> can you tell that i'm losing energy oh wait hold on these are ads so right let's flick through what have we got uh, oh you can submit to be featured god if only i knew how to do this <laughs> right what have we got let me just quickly just skim ahead these all look like ads uh, hold on, what's this one though? What have we got here? Oh, 
add for hair salon thing. But then, what is this? Looks like people submitting their pirikura. Uh, oh, that's cute. Oh, look, they sent like artwork and stuff. Uh, oh, look, behind the scenes of this issue. So we got then it's usually just ads towards the back of this so which i'm really sorry i'm just not really interested in <laughs> sorry oh look here's um Tsubasa. Uh, doo -doo -doo. i'm only stopping at this page because it's pink that's a cute dress oh i like her hair as well okay right what else have we got oh yeah this is where they usually get to the dye pages so i won't show too much just in case oh and then you know they have the comic um and that is it that is everything that is the end of this very very thick issue so kudos to you for sticking all the way to the end um and yeah, gosh, it feels like such a long time since I've done like a flip through and I really, really did miss them. Um, but I really love this one, especially when they show like the behind the scenes of the wedding. I mean, like the rest of the magazine was cute and all, but I just felt really overwhelmed. <laughs> I felt like they, they crammed a lot of outfits and stuff in it, which is great if you're looking for inspiration. But for someone like me, I was like, oh, this is too much. Um... <laughs> But yeah, let me know which part was your favourite part. And um, yes, do not forget to check Dala's blog post um, where she has kindly translated um, Tsubasa Matsuwaka's um, biography. And um, yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Love you. Bye.